We've discussed in past episodes exactly how to make echo reefs. Uh, so please, if you haven't, if you haven't worked out how to do it yet, please go to uh, the echo reef project dot com, uh, log in, and there are uh, uh, detailed instructions on exactly what to do, how to do it, uh, and the fact that it doesn't cost you anything to do one. You know, you just you just get your uh, bits and pieces from every everywhere, and and a few really interesting twigs, and away you go. But Let's just go through it again. We'll, 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 the the, the eco reefs themselves are, are basically twigs, um, the twisted uh, uh, twisted branches and twigs uh, that, that that can be uh, held together with a very strong binder. Uh, and we'll show you how to make the binders as well. They're just out of uh, out of waste products uh, held together and and um, uh, with 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 a weight. And what happens is within Within the eco reef itself, it's got caverns where, where monarchs and and plants and uh, have have uh, have somewhere to shelter. So they they've got a weight, as I say, to pull them down and hold them into into a waterway, uh, and and at the same time protect. The, at the bottom at the bottom of, uh, of of any just about any water waterway, we uh, like like this one for instance at the mouth of the river, we've got uh, we've got silt. There's you know years and years and years of soot, and and that actually covers uh, you know the the, the the breeding grounds for plants and 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 animal life. So what we're going to do, what we're doing with with eco reefs is to is to provide uh, havens for any sort of pr- plant growth or animal growth, such as crabs and mollusks down the bottom, and plants to come out from them. Any sort of kelp that'll come up to the surface. So we've. We've proved it in tanks. It works in tanks. Now we're going to we're going to a- attempt to experiment in flat waterways, such as at the mouth of the river here. Uh, now we've we've. Uh, I'll just pause for a while because uh, we, I'm going to try and configure them using uh, using nylon string. Uh, as you can see, within the eco eco reef, you can use a variety of of uh, plant life. You know, as long as it's dry and twiggy and twisted, uh, you're, you're providing a tremendous amount of um, safety for, uh, for, for, for small plants and animals like baby, baby fish, which just haven't got a hope in hell uh, if there are larger fish around. And remember, a little, you know, larger fish or baby fish at some stage, so if you're a fisherman or a fisher person, you're going to need to look after these little buggers just, uh, just as long as, uh, as you can so that eventually you'll be able to, to go out fishing for for, for something that you can put on a dinner plate. So let me just pause for a while while I get hold of some string and we'll, we'll, we'll work out how we're going to configure this particular echo reef uh, as an experiment. I've settled on, on a nylon rope uh, for this, um, this particular exercise for a couple of reasons. One, we're, we're, we're using plastic, waste plastic as a binder for our, for, for our reefs, right? Now, there are two ways to do it. One, we do an all natural product, which is which is uh, sisal and, and um, sisal rope and, and coir and things like that, which we've, we've covered, and the other way is to use nylon. And nylon, whatever nylon we use, has got to last dozens of years, and we need to daisy chain these things so our, our plastic reefs never are out of our control. We need to be able to get them back, uh, uh, check them, use them, reuse them, clean them up, uh, you know, uh, seed them with other plants and oysters and, and, and whatever we can so that we, we're constantly working out how to, how to actually get this thing to work and to, to, to save our waterways. So, yeah, in this case, we're using nylon rope and we're going to, uh, we're going to configure this particular reef. Again, bear with me while I just sort of sort things out. Our early stage thinking was to 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 daisy chain uh, echo reefs in in uh, in lengths so that we've got uh, long lines of these reefs that we we toss into the edge of the waterways where they hold together and then then uh, grip each other so that we can have uh, a skirt if you like where where baby uh, uh, plants can grow and, and and fish can survive but for this one we're going to try a different approach. And we, as, we, as we're trying it in the middle of a waterway uh, at the mouth of a river, we're going to try a different approach, and that's to gang them up in a group and then drop them in 
uh, and just see what happens. So, you know, no guarantees. We have, we, we're not boffins. We're, we're just people with a fair bit of common sense. And we're going to get this thing to work. The only way we can get it to work is by uh, for us to test it and for, please, for any of you to test it. Get get, get your plastic bottles out. Get your bags out. And let's, let's get this thing to work because it will work. We've proved it in tanks. We've got f- uh, froggies coming out of our ears. And, and we're, we're uh, uh, above all, we're using a lot of waste product. And we're getting an, 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 an incredible result, even at our early stages of, uh, of testing. And it's costing nobody anything. So please, get, get, you know, give us a hand. Give us your, your input. Uh, test it out and let us know how we, how, how we can improve it. So at this stage, again, give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to uh, – I've only got one hand working on this darn thing, so, so be with me. We, I'm going to try and gang them up. Uh, in fact, I will gang them up on, on, uh, on our rope and we'll – uh, then drop it in the waterways, and uh, we'll have to wait, uh, and we'll check it once a week or twice a week, and see see uh, whether whether there's any sort of movement down there. There might be nothing. We're, we're not making any guarantees. There might be. They might just get come out clean and polished and ready to go to the next slot. But whatever we're doing, we have to keep testing. So please give us a hand. Now, hang on a minute, and, and uh, let me get this thing worked out into a, into a nice little ganged up bunch. Okay, so I've tied the little devils in a in a in a, in a group. Uh, as you can see, they're they're uh, they're one on top of the other, and they're all sort of intermingling with each other. So theoretically, theoretically, they're going to sit at the bottom and find themselves a niche uh, and a little nook there where they'll where they'll hang on to the ground and, and stay where they're supposed to stay uh, for a while. Right? They again, as I say, if the tides are too strong, they're going to go every which way. Now, uh, just as a, just as an aside, there's the, the one that I was w- working on over here, as you can see, and you'll see, in, uh, in, and as we, uh, as when when you uh, check out how the the eco reefs are made, uh, they usually have uh, a concentration of heat in these areas here, which actually break through the the the, the strong plastic binding, and and allow for uh, for holes that we can eat, we can string through, as well as holes for. Uh, little fish and and little uh, and and, and um, uh, snails and things like that to get in and out of, uh, and I blew it with this one. Uh, but it, uh, uh, having said that, it'll still work as an eco reef. It'll it's still got plenty of space for animal life and for plant life uh, to take hold. Uh, so yeah, don't toss them away. All you got to do is take it back to take it back to to uh, to, to your, your bench or wherever you're doing your work and uh, pu- push a hole in it with your heat. With your heat gun, so let, let, let's not waste anything, uh, and and yeah, let's get get a little bit ready to to uh, to get our a bundle of uh, of goodies into into the waterway and 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 see what happens next. Just bear with me again. We we go move on to the next stage. But the last time, I, I thought I'd, uh, uh, I I had uh, a demo of how it was going to go into the water, but here it is. We'll try it again. Uh, here's your bundle of eco reefs, uh, very tied, very very securely together, and we go. As we'll take her off the edge, uh, and we're we're just at the bottom of of a bridge here, right at the mouth mouth of the river. So we'll we'll get our eco reef, and we'll uh, drop her in down to the bottom, so we can we can feel her sit right at the bottom of the water. We've got plenty of lead here on the on the rope. We can we can afford to to let it all go down. It's always be it's always remember to keep your reel firmly anchored in a bucket or around the back or with give it to someone. Right now I'm working on my own uh, because Ben's uh, Ben's doing other things with the eco reef somewhere else. But yeah, so let it go. Let it go down to the bottom and hold on uh, till we get as soon as she stops moving down there. You know, it's sitting at the bottom of the. Of the, of the of the bay in 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 a fair bit of sand. So then we we'll take her, we we'll just tie her up really, really nice and tight, uh, and and then we'll leave it. And, and so that, uh, and I'll show off my, my my knots in a little while. But but uh, don't worry if I can't. It's uh, I've only got one hand. Remember. But yeah. So everything's nice and secure and tight. We're going to leave her there for uh, for for this week. Maybe. Uh, maybe a couple of weeks, but we'll be testing her every two or three days to find out exactly what, what what's going on down there. If we're getting any sort of form of life, and that's what it's all about. Now, uh, really, this and we're at, the, we're at the bottom of the river now, and here she is. So here we go, and and uh, we're, we're we're right down the end of here in a beautiful waterway, 
and we're going to try and find out whether we can approve fish stocks in 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 a harbour here or in the worst harbours in the world. So so bear with us and give us a hand, please. Just let us know how you go.